Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a quick announcement sort of thing, if you will, regarding a feature in Canva. Um, it's not so much a tutorial as it is um, an introduction to what the feature is. So it's called Course, like like an online course, um, but within Canva. It's built within Canva, and you can create it within Canva. And it has some uh, benefits and also some very, you know, big limitations in terms of, you know, how you understand online courses. Um, a lot of us create and sell online courses. That's probably not something you would want to do with this new feature um, within Canva. But let me just show you what it is and um, how you might want to use it um, if you do use it. So um, to find it, it, if you if you're on Canva dashboard, go to projects on the left. So if you click projects, so uh, you probably already know that under projects you typically see all of your folders, your designs, recent designs, all of that. You can you have some filters here. You can filter your designs by categories, date modified, or, you know, by user too. If you have multiple user, um, if you have a team, maybe on your Canva account. So this is the projects tab. And on the top right corner, it says add new. So when you click add new, you can create a folder, you can upload design, import from app, and there's this option, it's called course. So uh, if you follow my cursor, the yellow blob, if you click on course, you come here. And it says you have created a course. It's a short tutorial. Uh, Canva is basically guiding you with some tool tips. And this is a neat way to view and share your folder content, arrange your designs in order. Um, add a description and decide how your team engages with each activity. So right away it tells you that it's probably best if you have a team. So this is primarily for people with um, people who have a team on Canva. Uh, if you use Canva for your team, if you have people uh, who work with you um, and they're on the same uh, same Canva account, uh, they're sharing the same Canva account um, as a team, um, that's when you might want to use this feature to um, do various things. So I'll just give you one simple example. Let's say that you're an online business owner and you are onboarding a virtual assistant, a brand new virtual assistant, and you want the virtual assistant, this new person, to understand, you know, how your, um, what kind of work uh, they are expected to do, uh, what are the things they need to know, and uh, your work ethics, you know, your uh, project expectations or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you, you need to know. Maybe you have like some kind of onboarding training manual or something like that for this new person, this new employee you just hired. That's probably when this is something that you could use, like um, the Canva course thing. It's not something that I would say would work in the traditional sense. Like, you know, I have, for example, if you go to the sideblogger.com, I have an online course where I teach people how to sell Canva templates. So if you go to courses, under courses, you'll see Side Income with Canva. And this is an online course. You can, you know, you can sign up, for example, enroll now. And my course is built on the Thinkific uh, platform, course platform, and you pay and you sign up, blah, blah, blah. Now that's something, that's the kind of online course that we are familiar with, right? Like you, as a creator, you create an online course and you sell it and anybody can purchase the course um, and then sign up and go through the course. That's not what you can use the Canva course for. You can just sell Canva course. Um, and it's, it's not, it's also not as robust as some of the platforms that are built for online courses. 
So the primary、uh, use that I I personally see for Canva courses is if you have like team members and you want them to know something, you want them to understand how to work in your team or whatever. That's when you might want to use.、Um, Canva course, you build this Canva course. You add some documents, you add some videos or designs or whatever,、um, and then you can add this person in your team, and they can go over、um, this course to understand what's expected of them or something similar to that. So anyway, I just wanted to、um, because this isn't something I have. Per- I haven't really personally used it myself because. I don't. I don't work in a team. I am a solo business owner, so I don't really have to,、um, you know, deal with team members or anything like that. But when I was checking out this、uh, course thing, this new thing,、um, I realized that that's probably what it's it's best for. You know,、um, so if you if you come across this course and you think, oh, can I just make a course on Canva now and sell it? No, that's that's not how it's gonna work because it's it's not、um, something you can sell to just anyone, or it's not it's not as robust as some of the other、um, online course platforms like Thinkific or Teachable or Podia, and, you know, platforms like that,、um, or even WordPress, LearnDash, or MemberPress.、Um, It's it's not like that. So, yeah. So not to get confused,、um, it's great for people with teams. If you want your team members to go over some、um, resources, then you can use the course plat、uh, the course feature on Canva. But other than that,、um, as 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 the feature is right now, it's not any more used than、um, that. Yeah. Hopefully that made sense. Um, maybe in the future I will make a video where I'll show you how to build a course on Canva. But today I just wanted to kind of tell you that there it is, and this is what it is for. And、uh, yeah, so that's it. Bye.